out and make some Caribbean green seasoning. And I thought I'd share a few tips with you all. I think I've shared similar videos in the past, so I'm not doing a full video, but just some tips. One, if you cannot get seasoning peppers or pimento peppers, I've got a couple here, but some cubanelle peppers works really good. Nothing spicy. Wash and air dry your herbs and whatnot, peppers, etc. Before you make your green seasoning, the reason why I say that, especially with like coriander, I cannot get shadow benny, so I usually get coriander or cilantro. The roots tend to have a lot of dirt and sand and stuff like that, so you really want to give that a good rinse. And like I said, air dry it on a tea towel, that's what I have it here on, because you want to pull out most of that water from it. And the reason why I like taking the water out of it is because my base is olive oil however this time i'm trying grape seed oil because i find that by using oil you tend to retain the aroma the color the vibrancy and everything of the caribbean green seasoning a lot of people use water some people use vinegar not for iman the other thing i wanted to mention is to make sure and give everything a rough chop it will allow for your food processor or your blender whatever it is you're using to function easier the third sort of tip is do not put things that you know won't work with certain dishes for instance i know i like to add my ginger when i'm making stew chicken or whatever later on in the process i don't like ginger in my curry dishes some people do so with that in mind, I do not put ginger in my green seasoning. I do not put white onion because I find white onion tends to allow it to go bad faster, even after I use olive oil as the base. Yeah, the olive oil will help to sort of preserve it as well too. I don't use rosemary. It's a flavor I don't like. So you'll never see it in here. I don't use basil. Those are some of the things, depending on the dish that I'm using, uh, I'm making, it, it may find its way in there or not. So, basically what I'm saying is try to make a green seasoning that is universal to any dish that you'll be making. When you're making that specific dish, you can add the ginger and the rosemary and the basil and everything else fresh. Like making a big batch. So, this year I will store it in bottles in the fridge. You can put it into your ice tray, create cubes. And you know, when you're making a little soup or a little stew or whatever, boom, you toss a seasoning cube in there so those are my little tips i am sorry i am filming with my uh, cell phone but i just wanted to share those tips with you one more i put a couple of hot peppers in there because i like my food spicy but you notice they're not fully mature peppers they're green um so it doesn't have that pronounced heat if heat is not your thing do not add any hot peppers to it else every dish you make mama yo <laughs> all right anyhow it will come back out later and then you're blaming uncle chris like oh gosh uncle chris make me use all kind of hot pepper and thing all right one of the other things too i wanted to highlight is that while you can use the baby stems of the thyme you see these tough stems here let me see if i could zoom in these tough ones you want to trim that off i had an episode in barbados i made a quick green seasoning and i Yo, I rough chopped it. You see that thing there? For about three hours the night after I ate my stew chicken, that thing was choking me to the point where I almost had to go to the hospital because one of the stems got lodged in my throat. What's up, soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe. If you've already clicked subscribe, hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click.